Good morning, everyone. I hope your days are going well. This is Sandy Bolomina, and everybody is out playing in the snow. I am watching them play from inside where it's safe and I will not get knocked down. I have to check my boundaries. Oop, doing okay with that. I set up boundaries on either side so I don't slip up. I have just a hodgepodge of things here. Some ephemera, ancient old and vintage, and I have a couple of books too. This came in an auction box and it was Wilbur Washington's Instructor's Outline for First Aid Courses from the American National Red Cross, Washington, D.C. And it's in such good shape. It's from 1938. And it's just all of his instructions for their courses for rabies, <laughs> bandaging. And not only that, inside it is are all of his notes, first aid. And he even bound them with the thingies there. So this is all his. I'm assuming it was in the same year from the book. Or at least close to that. Well, I forgot now already. No me. So these are all his crib sheets. Crib notes. Alcoholism. Sign. Odor. Unconscious. <laughs> Joint dislocation, sprain, and this part is how to teach it. Final exam. So he, he did the exam, and somewhere in here I think is his... Uh, that he passed it. I, I thought there was a certificate. Maybe not. Maybe I was dreaming things. But he must have really been a really good medic kind of guy in 1938. So I want to offer this up for sale. So if you're interested, leave me a note or it'll show up on the marketplace or my website. This is like, they used to hand these out to students all the time. Webster's composition books so was like a notebook. This was not in this one. This is from Elkhorn, Wisconsin, 1920. Glenn Harmon, grammar. And almost every page is written on. I don't know why some might be missing, but what a cool bunch of writing. Front and back of the pages. Glenn Harmon. Black Oak School. <laughs> so that needs to be with someone who would like to use it. And this, well, let's look at this stuff first. I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is stuff I've just been setting aside. Like this would go in an automobile bundle. This is from 1907 uh, from the such as veterinary work, veterinary work of all kinds. And this was from a drive in the country for $2.50. Hmm. May 1th, May 1st. John Green, dealer in furniture and undertaking. And this is, looks like an accounting or a receipt. That's probably how he kept his accounts. More. This, I'm pretty sure some of this is from an auction box. So this is not the kind of thing I would have. I have so much stuff here that it is ridiculous. I've been bringing things home for years, probably most of my life. And my parents, they were antiquers, and dad refinished furniture, and it it was always just so fun to go to auctions with them. I think Dad bought us a dollar box just so we would go sit down and be quiet <laughs> so he could pay attention. But that's where all of my things started, and I've been at it ever since. So there are a lot of things here that have come lately, but over time, 
I pick stuff up all the time and that's why this journaling has been good for me because it's good to share this stuff with people who will enjoy it and care for it and use it. It, I mean, if it sits here forever, it's going to probably, who knows what will happen to it. So, I mean, after I'm not here. This book came in this really cool wrapper, which has hand-drawn maps on the inside. And it looks like a little ledger. And I'm keeping this on it. Okay, I'll set it aside right now. And it's all ephemera that I've either, well, all of the old stuff was in here. And this is a notebook. And it's math, I believe. These are some things I set aside in case it ever gets to be a journal. This is from William Hovener, Havener, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And he was drawing maps. Oh, it's history, duh. So all of this is full of his maps. And all of his notes. Virginia colonies, more maps. It's a very special thing. I'm not, it could have even been a teacher's outline of a history class because it looks like they wrote, she wrote, he, she wrote um, lots of copies of this letter. It's all the same, and I'm thinking probably handwritten. So this is really, really old. And maybe they passed these out to students to copy. I'm not sure. And there are empties. But lots of maps. So this is a really, a really, really nifty ledger. And I really think it's probably a teacher's planning book. And there's a bunch of these back here. So I'm going to guess that maybe this was from, I don't know, early 1900s, 1910. Oh, and the cover is kind of stuck to the back of the book, so I haven't taken that off. Actually, I think I might put this in here. So it's very special. It would make a wonderful journal. I'm not sure if I should take it apart yet. So. Anyone interested in the whole thing, let me know. Otherwise, I am probably going to put it into my ledger pack. This is a book of statistics from 1911. And it was published quarterly by the American Statistical Association. It belonged apparently to R.H. Hess. And it is what it says it is. Lots and lots of Fifty years of American life insurance progress. And I've only really flipped through it. It came in an auction box recently, but what I thought was neat was the tables, the tiny numbers. There's pages and pages and pages of them. That will be appearing for sale. It's missing its back cover. But everything's in really good shape. It's got some corner corner bends. And the last one I have today is this one. It's not in good shape. It's but for as old as it is, it's pretty nifty. Whitman Publishing Racine. And this was owned by Jody's mom. She had a huge doll collection and everything related to it. And initially, it was given to Catherine Falway from Hazel Phillips. 1927. The Calico Girl and the Worsted Boy. And I just love the... I'm not big into dolls. You probably know that, maybe. 
but this is just a new old book. When things are old, I make allowances. <laughs> Merry Christmas. My tin captain fell down and stubbed his right toe. Oh, some of this is not politically correct. But the illustrations are gorgeous. Antoinette Marie, she was something else. Baby pink, why so still dainty baby pink? Chief Zululu. Oh, see, some of it's not, not great. But I'm, I apologize if I was taking this book apart myself, I would not be keeping most pages. Tin dolls, old tin dolls. And Sarah Jane. And again, I, the binding isn't very loose for as old as it is, but it is coming apart. You would have to disassemble or put a new spine in here. But that will be coming up. I'm working on getting more things listed for the new year. We're going to be adding hands, my hand spun yarn to the website after the first of the year, and wool, and lots and lots of ephemera and journaling supplies. So keep an eye out. Let me know if you need anything. The sheep love to look through all of the paper things and find what you might need. And we have a lot of stuff, probably anything you can think of for the most part. So that's about it. I will be back with more videos, and I am going to go get these loaded up so that they can get out. Be careful if you're out and about this weekend. Um, a lot of people get themselves into situations with fears, and I hope that everyone stays safe and well and happy. And let's get this new year underway. Thank you, everybody, for always being here and being a part of this farm. We appreciate you. The sheep always love sending kisses and smooches, and when I get videos done, they get fruit loops. So there's always good everywhere, right? Have a happy day, everyone.